hello everyone welcome back to the next video of kit tutorial and in this video we are going to see how you can squash multiple commit and make multiple commit into a single commit using git rebase interactive option so this git rebase interactive is really helpful when you try to rebase your branch on top of master so basically when you are trying to do a rebase it will take one commit and apply on top of the master and it take the next commit and apply on top of the master this is how the rebase works so let's say if you have some 20 or 30 commit it will be really tedious and if you get stuck somewhere in the 10th or 11th commit the only option that you have is to abort the rebase and come back to the original state and start the rebase from the beginning so it's really very tedious and to avoid all this problem you can go with git interactive rebase and make all those 10 or 30 commit and make it as a single commit so that your git rebase process will not be very painful so let's see how to do that and this is the repository that i'm working on and i cloned that in my local system so here you can see it contained four commit so just check the git status and here everything is up to date so we are good to go and to squash let's say i'm going to squash this three commit into a single commit so to do that you have to use a command git rebase hyphen i and followed by the hash of the commit the first commit so that it will take this as a reference and try to squash all these three and make it as a single commit so just type as it is six one c four e c zero and click on enter so if you can see that it will open the interactive editor on visual studio so if you have some other text file it will open that you have to edit and you have to save and then you have to close this editor then only this git bash will work so if you are working on a mac it will open on the same terminal what you have to do is you have to click on i so that it will turn into a insertion mode and once you're done with all these changes you have to click on the escape button colon w q and click on enter so that all the files will get saved and come out of the insertion mode so but i'm using a windows machine so what i can do is i, I just want to squash all these commit into a single commit so this uh, let's say changes and this third commit as so a third commit and this commit as see it goes to the third one so i want to keep this one but i want to squash this one and this one so if you want to squash you can change it to yes or you can type a word squash you can go through the comments that you are seeing here so once you are done with the squash click on save go to file save or click on ctrl plus s and close the window and go back to git so here you can see the status update set file so on the background it's working on and it again open the comment window so here you can see the commit message so you can just comment out the unwanted message so i don't want this one as well squash commit let me name this as squash commit so if you are using a terminal mac terminal you have to follow the same command what have what you did on the first editor you have to save you have to save that colon wq and click on enter so now let me expand this one i want to keep this command on the squash commit so just save so that this command will go here by squashing all these three commits let me show you how it works so once that is done save control plus s and close this one and come back to your git bash so here you can see a successful message successfully rebased and updated so while doing a rebase if there is any conflict you have to 
resolve the conflict on your IDE and then you have to continue the replace. If there is a no conflict, it will get rebased automatically. And once that is successfully rebased, you have to force push this particular branch to the upstream because when you're doing a rebase, the head get changed. So the only option that you have is to force push. So to force push, git push hyphen f. The best practice is git push origin followed by the branch name and hyphen f. But I'm 100% sure that I am on the branch one. So I'm going with this shortcut git push hyphen f and click on enter. So here you can see that it was forced update and the squash has been done successfully. Just reload the site and here you can see that it just left out the first commit and it combined all the three commit into a single commit. And if you go here, you can see the changes that you have made in all the three commits. So this is how you can squash multiple commit and turn it into a single commit. And if you do a rebase after this, it will be very easy for you to do to do a rebase. So let me know if you have any doubt. If you like this video, give thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.